A Maui burn victim is sharing her experience and her insights into the recovery process. And as KITV4 Cynthia Yip reports, she's also shedding light on the unique challenges that burn victims face. After being in the burn unit here at Straub Medical Center for 19 days, Judy McCorkle is now on her way home to Kula. But she first shares her story of survival and healing. The bottom of both feet are, were completely burned, and then the sand came up over the feet. So there were blisters on the top of my feet and all of my toes were, were burned. So they've been very, very careful here at the burn unit to make sure and keep the toes separated so that the, the, process, of, the process of burn healing is really not pretty. McCorkle got second-degree burn injuries after falling into a hot spot on her Kula property. She and her husband, Tom, evacuated their home on August 9th, returned the next day, and two days after the fire, McCorkle says she was walking around her property when she fell into a hot spot. Hot spots are really, really dangerous. It's not just the, the fire and the thing that happens during the fire. But most, many of the people who, who are here in this burn unit and many of the people on Maui who have been injured have been injured after the fire by going into places that were burning. What happens is the fire continues to burn in the root system underneath the ground. Never before has the straw burn unit seen so many patients from a single event. A total of nine patients received second and third degree burns over 10 to 70 percent of their bodies. Their stories, like McCorkle's, underscore the resilience needed to rebuild lives after a catastrophic disaster. A lot of dressings, a lot of pain, um, including her rehab. I mean, she had to learn to, you know, to walk again. And the entire time, just in good spirit, super positive, always kind to the staff. McCorkle and her husband are heading back to their Kula home and dog Winston. Cynthia Yip, KTV4 Island News.